In this uh, video segment, I am showing you a normal liver with two linear, bright, ecogenic areas within the left lobe, rather trees. There are three linear structures, linear. One, this is the second one, and this is the third one. So one, two, three. This is the transfer section of the, I placed the probe transversely, then angled it uh, towards the patient's subcostal region, moved it rather towards the patient's left subcostal region, right subcostal region, and then angled it towards the uh, patient's right shoulder. So, in transfer section of the, now this is all of this that you are seeing is the right lobe of the, uh, left lobe of the liver in transfer section. Note, always, I mean, try it as many normal ultrasounds that you can of liver or any other organ that you want to study so that when, as you place the probe you should at least be able to know that uh, this is a normal parenchymal eco brightness or ecogenicity and homogeneous eco texture. However, we are presently you see one straight linear structure bright with no posterior shadowing, second one no posterior shadowing and third one this now these three are this is median lobar fissure this is the ligamentum series in longitudinal section and this is the ligamentum venosum so you are seeing two ligaments of the liver this is the ligamentum venosum as you know it is uh, and below it is the segment one of the liver, the corded lobe of the liver in transfer section. This is the inferior vena cava in transfer section. So in transfer section, this is the uh, ligamentum venosum. This is the median lobar fissure. It attaches to the right portal vein in transfer <coughs> section. So, and this is the ligamentum teres. same angle. Now when I say that uh, this is a uh, interlobar fissure or median lobar fissure, then you know this is a landmark for the identification of the pancreas, uh, of the gallbladder and uh, its one end is with the right, uh, uh, right uh, portal vein and the second is at the neck of the gallbladder. Here now you will see that it it relates to the neck of the GB gallbladder and is uh, this is an identifying you know you can identify the gallbladder this is the gallbladder this is the interlobar fissure or median lobar fissure this is the right foot ruin so this was the one I was showing you initially in this way now the, now we study this linear structure that I am seeing is ligamentum teres. Now you see as I am moving the probe, it, it becomes longitudinal and it attaches to the left portal vein. This is the ligamentum teres, it attaches to the left portal vein. And this, in this uh, uh, scanning plan, you are seeing the ligamentum venosum in longitudinal section. This is the longitudinal view of the left lobe of the liver. If, now if I uh, keeping this uh, ecogenic area in the center of the screen, if I give a 90 degree angle sweep to the probe, it will become triangular shape. There it is. You see? This is the triangular shaped area. It will give posterior shadowing. And this is the median lobar fissure. <coughs> this is the ligamentum, uh, ligamentum teres. 
in transverse section. So if I move this way, it becomes longitudinal, becomes attached with the portal vein, ascending part of the left portal vein. This is the right portal vein, this is ascending part of the left portal vein, and this is the where where the uh, ligamentum series is ending and it, this is the longitudinal section of the left lobe of the liver so this is the second ligament and this is in transfer section and it, it will give posterior shadowing so ligamentum series and uh, here this is the ligamentum venosum longitude this is the longitudinal view of the left lobe of the liver with left hepatic vein entering the IVC this is the portal vein IVC in longitudinal section and this is the ligamentum venosum then when I move the probe downwards here you are seeing the ligamentum teres in longitudinal section. Now you will see it in transverse section, and it gives a superior shadowing. And here below it, you see this is this linear structure is the median lobar fissure. Median lobar fissure, you can also see in this view. Uh, this is the opposite of. The what from where we started, this is the longitudinal view of the right lobe of the uh, sorry left lobe of the liver. This is the longitudinal view of the left lobe of the liver. This is the median lobar fissure. This is the ligamentum teres. As you will see that the ligamentum uh, median lobar fissure will communicate with the neck of the <coughs> gallbladder and the thing it is this is the gallbladder and this is the median lobar fissure this being the ligamentum teres it gives posterior shadow and uh, here we, you will see as you go up and move the probe a bit angle the probe a bit then you see ligamentum we know some so three ligaments and one median lobar fissure you have seen in this uh, video segment. These are important structures. One should be well acquainted with it. And this is the opposite side in opposite view. The transfer view initial was the first one was the Transverse, then we studied in longitudinal section, and this is again in transverse section from where we started. And here you see three median lobar fissure, ligamentum teres, and ligamentum venosum. I will see this is the right hepatic vein. The mass has like a bit of sans as you can see that not sans local, the mass has as you see when you see this uh, both right and left portal veins together you will see the landmarks <coughs> In this view, it's quite clear that uh, the ligamentum teres is associated with the left portal vein, median lobar fissure with the right portal vein. This is the right portal vein, left portal vein. Sure.